Okay guys, a little bit of a different video here for a second. Um, this one is on a Yezu FT290, or 2900 I should say. And um, this video is basically how to demodify this radio. The, uh, I had a couple of these radios were given to me recently. And uh, two of them were modified. I've already demodified one, so now I'm going to demodify this one. And there's already lots of information online on how to actually modify the radio for extended transmit. Well, I'm going to show you how to demodify the transmit to put the radio back on 144 and 148 megahertz transmit as it's supposed to be. Um, I don't think, I'm pretty sure I haven't got this video on my channel. So I said I'd put it up here today. Uh, the microphone is a MH DTMF mic, MH48. I've got the uh, radio hooked up to a little dummy load. I changed the uh, power resistor in my little dummy load there yesterday. So it was a 5 watt, so now I've got a 50 watt put in there. So that should be more than enough now to take the, uh, the juice from this thing. And anyway, just to show you here now, that it, it, as, as it sits now, the radio is transmitting out of band. I got it uh, 5 uh, kilohertz low from 144. Again, it's running into a dummy load right here. And I just want to click this just really quick just to prove that it's you know it was modified. So here you go. As you can see, the radio is transmitting out of band. So again, this video is to show you, the viewer, how to demodify the Yezu FT2900 if you have one of these. That you've gotten on a trade, on a deal, you bought, whatever, and you find radios modified. Well, I'm going to show you how to demodify it. So, so stay tuned. We need to remove the front panel. You know something? I just recorded this section. I thought I recorded. I didn't press record. So now I'm kind of <laughs> do it again, but. I just show you basically what I had to do with it. Anyway, remove the three screws. The radio just the front face comes off. Pull out your ribbon cable. Put the body aside. Let the screws drop out. So then you're left with this part of it. The back end of the board. So the part you're uh, you're looking for is right there. Right there. If the radios are modif modified, you'll see three open traces. One, two, and three. So to uh, make the radio transmit only 141, 144 to 148, you uh, close this solder bead right there. Just uh, solder across it. So, and ICOM calls these uh, coffee beans. I'm not sure what the uh, Yezu calls them, but anyway. Just solder a little jumper. Blob of solder across those two contacts to close it. That's it. And just uh, reassemble the radio. Again. Take your ribbon cable. And just plug it in gently. Make sure your ribbon cable on this side don't pinch when you're closing it. So just take your front of your radio and kind of go to the top. Kind of put him in first. And then just put him down. Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to reset the radio. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so now what we need to do is reset the radio. And basically, to reset it, you hold down your DWREB button. Your A slash N low button, your MW D slash MR button. You hold three of these down while you turn on the radio. And it comes up all reset. 
So now we're going to put the radio back to factory settings. So you hit the MWMR button. And the radio is reset. Her receive is still the same as it always was. But in any event, so we turn off the radio, make sure she takes it. Turn it back on. And we're good to go. So that's how you reset the radio. Now, the next part of this is to prove to you that the radio is actually demodified. Okay, so you remember in the beginning of the video, 143, 995, I could transmit on that frequency. Same microphone, same dummy load, let's try keying it up. And if it's done right, when you hit the PTT, you should see error, error, error come up on that screen. There you go. MDS testing. There you go. That's how you demodify a modified Yezu FT2900R. Alright, hope the video was of use. All the best. Same